Yo people, welcome back to ANU Trading. I hope you're all well. Right, let's have a look at New Cypher. Wow, yesterday New Cypher did mad. It went up 100%. And guess what guys, when it went up 100%, it was obviously it was going to have a correction. And it did, it had a big correction. Not too big correction, it was only around 20% uh, or so. Um which is obviously not much we're still on a uh, we're still on an uptrend which is very very good um what i did is my strategy uh as soon as i seen that double top i took some profits then uh, as soon as i took profits i i did enter back today over here as soon as i seen this bullish divergence but um guys whoever did buy over here uh very good especially if you did buy down here then that's excellent because you must have got very good gains and you must have sold at the top even if you even if you didn't sell at the top um we are in a bull cycle so don't worry guys this coin um like every other coin will obviously have a high potential pump uh this is a correction what had to be done if there wasn't a correction then obviously it, it looked very dangerous you you just see a massive massive drop because when something goes parabolic you're bound to see a big drop in it um yeah so um i'm predicting this coin at the end of q1 we should easy easy smash a dollar uh, by next week hoping so uh, to break this uh, 69 cents mark uh, once we do break that mark it'll make a new um, all-time high then from there it'll correct itself and then so on so um i'm actually predicting for this coin um at least um, five dollars that's my prediction for this coin because it's circling in supply is very low and its market cap is around 200 million um 300 million coins i think it's circling in su supply 300 plus million um yeah and not just that the market <laughs> obviously had a drop today uh because of the way <laughs> bitcoin picked its step up is it did very very well it went above um forty thousand dollars which is very nice to see because uh what normally happens is soon as bitcoin starts its uptrend people tend to take the money out of alts um and put it into bitcoin then soon as they've gained that profit onto bitcoin and bitcoin starts going sideways console console consolidation uh, sorry about that consolidation uh what they'll do they'll take the profits and they'll whack it back into alts so that's why today We've seen a bit of a drop um but one thing i was very happy about that quite a lot of coins actually kept their momentum they actually stayed strong like xrp um cardano um e-gold and many others they did very very well especially e-gold i'm very happy with e-gold it's doing a uh, very very good it's doing its thing shall i say <laughs> um i am a big fan of e-gold right guys with this coin uh we should see it hopefully break a dollar like i said so um i'll keep yourselves updated but uh don't fear the things with this market is um it's mostly run by emotions as soon as you see that red candle that big red candle you see people running out as soon as people run out that's it you see more red what that means it makes the whales jump in again so example if that was a big whale sell-off yeah if a big wheel sold right there and then everyone else thought shit the market's crashing so everyone else jumped out there and guess what the wheel probably jumped back in there so you know you're at loss especially if you bought around this area thinking are oh, we getting a mass gain uh, all you gotta do is be, be a bit patient and wait for the correction and then jump in the coin uh never formal unless you're actually 100 percent certain that you're gonna get big gains out of uh out of you jump in at that moment of time so you can jump straight back out with your profits then get into a correction right guys that's enough from me take care respect i'm out